Hey, hi, this is Dennis Mugaga from the Gandhi Boys. You're locked on to WBS TV with the Goldies. Our guest today is Honorable Taylor, but I'll allow him to do a brief introduction and welcome to the show, first of all. Thank you, sir. How best would you describe yourself? Uh, my good uh, viewers, uh, I don't know what position I should say. I'm holding it, <laughs> but with the God grace, from the age of 15, I've been doing the social work. Uh, right from property coordinators, helping all the properties which are claims of the Asian, especially the temple, the cemeteries, uh, recreation grounds, and uh, the level I reached that uh, I was been appointed as a Minister of State of Economic uh, Development and Investment in the Sabasaja's government, that is Buganda Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently, I am a president of Hindu Council of Africa. The Association of, in, of uh, the... Of the Hindus, the whole of Africa. The whole of Africa? The whole of Africa. Not Uganda, Not the Uganda, entire Africa. The whole of Africa. Oh, wow. Well, my heart and my family, uh, from the day we grew in uh, Uganda, uh, we have a social and we have a responsibility to see that we can help the poor people. Uh, you were born and raised here in Uganda. You talked of... Uh, you were uh, born I, in... I was born in Old Kampala. Okay. Uh, it was a private uh, nursing home, uh, Fatma by Jaffer, and that was in July 1951. Mm. And uh, I grew up in Woblenzi, that is the Luero district. And mm -hmm. uh, later dated, I came into Kampala between 1965 and 1966. With both your parents? Uh, no. You, you were living I with your parents? Came, uh, uh, yes, I was living with my parents in Woblenzi. Mm -hmm. My parents stayed behind and I came to Kampala. And the unique part of it is that uh, my father did not have the money. Mm -hmm. From the age of 15 and 16, I started working in Woblenzi. And At my 15? Uh, okay. Yes, because... <laughs> Uh, the money issue was very important at that time, the school fees and what so on. And uh, I joined a local company in Woblenzi and my salary was 600 Uganda shilling at that time. Doing what? 600 uh, Uganda shilling? 600 Uganda shilling. Uh, we used to sell commodities right from a needle to anything you name it, including a cup of a paraffin, a okay. cup of uh, cooking oil, mm -hmm. and uh, so many other commodities. And that time, we used to do the business of 20,000 Uganda shilling a day. Right. And so being a businessman flows within your blood. Because at the age of 15, you, you get this from your dad? <laughs> uh, no, I learned a little bit from my dad because my father was a tailor, uh, okay. stitching uh, clothes. They call it uh, Omutunzi Wangoye. Omutunzi Wangoye, yes. Yeah, they used yeah. to call him uh, Goa at that time. Mm. You know, Mana wa Goa, Ariwano. Uh -huh. And uh, Ngoye. But when I was in the school days, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's me, my friend Karim, and so many other. We used to sell mandazi, mm -hmm. sumbusa, bread. You're talking about also, Karim, uh, the tycoon? Karim, Karim Hiri, Hiri, yes. The tycoon? Okay. And in mm -hmm. those days, uh, you know, he had a similar problem. And uh, <laughs> in Woblenzi, I used to sell, uh, you know, with these uh, cut... Uh, uh, the wheelbarrows? The wheelbarrows. Yes. Mm. We used to put uh, tip-top breads, Elliot's, and then the milk from Kenya. Uh -huh. and my sister used to cook sambusas. So Mandazi. all the, all these business ideas and doing business that you do, you know, you're a successful businessman. It began way back. It's not like it's, it's uh, you know in the blood of the Asian community mm. that while you are schooling, you also learn the business and uh, the nature in our uh, religion mm. is that beside the religion and other things. We also learned the business from our fathers. Uganda mm -hmm. uh, Uganda Okay. Uh, business business. Uh, good part of Uganda that uh, people, most of them knew the English.